Hey guys, what's up? So to make sure you guys how to pretty much connect your iPhone to your computer or to your Mac specifically and pretty much have it mirrored on the side as you're gonna see from the thumbnail. So it's really easy and simple to do that. So first off, you guys wanted to connect your phone to the Mac, all right? So once we do that, um, it's gonna come up with trust. Just tap on trust on your iPhone screen and then um, I think it'll probably come up and also you can see that's charging. That's kind of how we know it's connected. And just make sure um, you guys do have iTunes installed. I'm not sure if you have to have it installed, but just, you know, I do have it installed so that could affect it um, to make sure it's actually connected properly. So once we have that done, it's really easy and simple. All you want to do is actually go to search on the top, or we can just, pre I have it down here, but you can search up QuickTime. This is also how you screen record on your Mac as well. Um, it's QuickTime player right here. And then um, you can actually click onto it and actually drag it down to the desktop or have it down in the bookmark not bookmarks but in the toolbar down here so i have mine right here see quicktime player right and we just want to open it up so you don't want to open this thing up let me get out of here if you open it up it's going to bring you to like your files right so you don't you don't want to do that you actually want to like right click or if you're the mouse like double like double finger click and it's going to have the screen right here um actually did it wrong right here and then you guys want to do is actually go to you go to new screen record and just screen record your um, Mac screen. But what we want to go to is actually go to new movie recording. It's first going to bring up you know you, you know your camera, and then we're going to tap on this arrow right here in the middle. It's going to bring up this menu right here, and then you can tap on you change the quality, change the microphone, and then you can see your phone right here. Tap on your phone, and then you're going to have your phone screen on your Mac. So give it a second, and there we go. So, just like that. Okay, and then as you're moving it, it works pretty well. Um, so, pretty cool. And then when you actually go into apps or do whatever, which I'll go into, let's say, this game right here, it actually converts as well. So if you guys are wondering, does it do landscape? Yes, depending on how your phone is, if it's like this, it might not, but make sure you tilt it, and yeah. So, pretty cool. Um, out of here. So, actually, what you can do is you can re record it. So, I'm actually going to go back to the recorder right now. And sometimes it does show both on the screen. So, you can actually, like, you know, pretty much be, let's say you want to go to here. And you can be, like, searching something up. Right? And also, at the same time, have like this on and you know you got both of them on at the same time. Alright guys, so oh staticky. Let me turn this down. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. But we are on the phone, which I'm gonna move over, see? And we do have on the side our Google as well. So we can just go to wherever we want and also have the phone as well. So yes out of here. And then now we just have this going on. So we do multiple things at once. So pretty cool. And um, yeah, so go back down here, do the that, and then bring us this menu, or if you have a mouse, just right click. And then we actually can actually bring this up. So we'll go to um, new movie recording. It's gonna bring up that screen. Okay. So once it brings up the screen right here, what we actually can do is go back to here, uh, QuickTime Player, same thing. And we're gonna go to new screen recording. So, you can actually go to internal, show mouse clicks, okay, right here, right? So right here, there's going to be a new screen recording, and then we can tap on here, click to record a full screen, okay. So, we're going to click to record a full screen, right, and now we should be, are we recording? Yep, and we now, right now, we are recording, so. As you guys can see, this is how you guys can also record and actually get the, um, you know, the full screen as well. So the other way I showed you guys, the first way was just how do you guys can mainly just screen screen record your iPhone screen, but this is how you actually get to screen record a whole screen on your computer, including on the side, which is the um, iPhone screen as well. So yeah, hope this um, you know include everything in the video. If I miss anything, leave them down below. Leave any video suggestions down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.